everybody, it's Kathy and welcome to today's workout. Today is kettlebell day. So you are gonna need, I love using three today. So I've got a 15, a 20, and a 35 pounder because we are gonna be doing some swings at the very end. It's kind of our finisher. So today's uh, law of the land is you're gonna take a kettlebell drill, you're gonna do it for 30 seconds. You'll have 10 seconds to recover and then you're gonna immediately do a little power drill which is going to be similar to the, the exercise you did with your kettlebell. You're gonna repeat that two times on the same side, and then we will move on to the next side, okay? So we're just gonna kinda of hone in on one side. This is gonna go by fast. You've got four separate drills that you're going to do, um, and then we've got two small finishers and some abs, and you're done, done, done. All right, so let's get started with our warm up. Again, if you do not have kettlebells and you wanna use dumbbells, Great, but make sure you have a heavier one for when we do our swings at the very end, okay? So let's get started with our warm up. Oh, my kettlebells are falling. All right, so we're just gonna go into 10 squats, 10 squat jumps. If you don't wanna jump, you'll just drive onto your tiptoes, all right? Here we go, 10 squat squats. One, two, I wanted to jump. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, we're gonna do 10 jumps. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, eight squats. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight squat jumps, here we go. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Six squats. Six. You're gonna feel those quads, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Six jumps. Five, four, three, two, one. We've got four squats. Four, three, two, one. Four jumps. Two, three. Four, two and two, finish this out. One and two, two jumps right there. Shake it out. All right, we're gonna go into a side lunge into a speed skater. Side, skate, side, skate. Reach for the toe. One knee is bent, one leg is straight. Sit down, down, down. Come on. Flow through it, feel that leg warming up, you got it. Nice, power through, last four, 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 three, three, two, two, one, and one. Nice work, shaking it out, you got the same thing. Other side, here we go. Side to skate, side to skate. Beautiful. I like this because it really flows really nice. Come on. Warming up multiple muscle groups here. Down and up. Keep it going. Head and neck neutral. Make sure you're sitting into that side lunge. Last four. 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 Three. Three. Two. Two. One. And one. Nice. Shake it out. Now we're gonna step back into reverse lunge. You're gonna give me a lunge with a power knee drive, lunge and switch. Then we do the other side. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Lunge, power, lunge, switch. Lunge, power, lunge, switch. Think of driving that knee up, adding a nice spring and hop to your move. Down, up, lunge, power, Good. Lunge. Power. Nice work. Lunge. Power. Beautiful. Power. Good. Down and up. Nice work. Now we're going to stay here. You're going to give me eight power lunges. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. You got eight other side to finish that side off. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Shake it out. Take this into a shuffle. 
hold, tap it down. Head and neck is in neutral. You got it, sit that booty back. Good job. Stay with it here. This is your last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, want those feet shoulder width apart. I want you to hinge, reach forward, drive up. Reach forward, drive up. So this is a bit of a hinge. Just warming up the backs of those legs for when we get to those kettlebell swings at the very end. Squeeze those shoulder blades down. Nice. Last three. And out. Two, reach forward. And one, excellent. Meet me at the floor. We're just gonna finish with one little plank move. So we're gonna do a plank with froggers. So that means you're gonna step your feet in or hop your feet in repeatedly, okay? So it's going to be a plank, frog, plank, hold. Plank, frog, plank, hold. So we're just gonna pause that plank for just a little bit. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Plank, frogger, up, hold, two, three. Frogger, hold, two, three. Frogger, hold, two, three. Good. Up, back, hold, two, three. Hold, two, three. Good work. Hold, two, three. One more like this. Hold, two, three. Six froggers. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Step your right foot in. Give yourself a nice big stretch and rotate that arm back. Ha! Can you bring that arm a little lower to the ground? Just getting a little bit deeper of a stretch. Switch hands and legs right here. Big step, big rotation. Pull it back. Bring that arm slightly down. Getting a little bit deeper stretch in that groin. Bring your hand down, step your back foot in, so you're nice and wide. Give yourself some side to side booty squats here, inner thigh, hamstring, glute, four, three, two, one. Hike those hips to the sky. Slowly bring your body up. Let's go into some shoulder rolls. And take it forward. Nice job. You're just gonna go into a couple of knee hugs for four, for three, for two. For one. Excellent work. Now, you're going to need one kettlebell here. So grab some water if you need it, and then we will get ready with our two back-to-back -back moves. One is kettlebell, one is body weight. So you're going to do a side lunge into a clean, which is a racked position, into a press. All right, so here's what it looks like. Side lunge, clean. So when we clean, we're all pulling that elbow in and racking it to our bicep. It's not a flip. So if you need to, you'll take your opposite hand to control it, then you're going right into an overhead press. All right, so it's right into that. Side, pull the elbow in, flip it, clean it, press it. I want your elbow in front of your body when you press. I don't want you out here. All right, if it takes some time to get used to it, take your time through it. Then you're gonna drop the kettlebell. You're gonna go into a side power move. And then you're going to repeat that again, and then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, so we're powering up. 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of recovery, then we add the power, and then we repeat it one more time. You got a three second count. Two, one, here we go. Side, clean, press. Side, clean, press. Remember, add that hand right here. If you need that support, I don't want you flipping and flopping. I don't want you to get any bum, uh, uh, bruises onto your bicep, but if you're familiar with cleans, you know it's a flip and a drive, <sighs> cleaning it, racking it to that racked position. <sighs> yeah, pull and down. Last one here for now. Good, 
work. Bring that kettlebell down. You've got power, side, knee, lunge, knee drives. Here we go. Down, power, power, spring off that foot. Come right up. Yeah. Being a little bit of a plyometric here. You got it, come on, down, up, down, up. Can you get low? Pushing off, you got 13 seconds. Gazes forward. Yep. And done. All right, doing the exact same thing. I'm actually gonna go a little heavier in my kettlebell here. Into my clean, side lunge clean, press. Here we go. Side, rack it, press it. Oh yeah, that feels good. Up, clean it, press it. Remember what I said about that elbow in front of your body, right? Good. So what that does, it's protecting your shoulder. Woo! I feel the difference in the heavier kettlebell. Mm. Up and recover. All right, going into your power lunge move. We switch sides immediately after your 10 second break. Here we go. Down, up, spring off that foot. Add some power, pull the abs in. Power those arms. So if you don't jump, it's here. All right, so you can go down and dirty with this. Keeping it super low impact but with good results. Come on. 13 seconds. Gaze forward. Booty back. Uh, form matters. Oh. Woo. Switching sides. 10 second count. Now it's the opposite side. So it's gonna take your body a little while to get used to that opposite side. Here we go. Side lunge. Clean, press. Pull it in, pull that elbow into your rib cage, kind of like a magnet here. Flip the wrist in, out. Yeah, no flipping and flopping. Use that hand to control if you need to. I'd rather see you go down to a dumbbell here if you're really struggling with the clean portion. However, at some point, you need to use that kettlebell so you can get familiar to practice that clean. All right, we're going to the side lunge power. It's gonna feel different on this side. Here we go. Down, drive, down, drive. Toe, hoop. Gaze forward, drive that knee, pump those arms. Hoop, yeah. Power, hoop. Core strong. Nice, come on. Power up. Breathe. Eight seconds. And we get to do that all over again. Ooh, all right. Oh, I'm gonna go a little heavier here just for snicks and giggles. My mat's already covered with sweat all over the place. All right, side lunge clean, press. Here we go. Side, clean, press. Each component is separate, but they are all connected. Clean it, press it. Elbow in front of your body. Down, control, press. Yeah. So if you know how to do this, play with your weight. Awesome. All right, we're going into that power side lunge one more time. Then we're gonna get a little break, and then I'm gonna show you your next two moves. Here we go. Down, up, up. So we're holding in on one side. But I like doing work like this. I like doing circuit work. It's fun alternating between resistance and body weight. Eight seconds, come on. Drive, reach, and we 
Are done. All right. Grab some water. Woo, towel off. Finding my water here. All right, while you're recovering, I'm going to show you your next two moves. Very similar concept. So you're going to take a medium heavy kettlebell. I'm going to go my 20 here. You're going to step back. You're going to come into a deep lunge row. All right? Then you're going to stand. You're going to come back to that deep lunge row and stand. And then you're going to go into a power knee drive. You've got two rounds of each. Then we go to the other side. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Let's get into our 10 second count here. Step back, lunge, deep row, step in. Ha! Huh. Let's grab the kettlebell, roll the shoulders back, deep lunge, here we go. Step back, row it, step in. Lunge, row, in. Down, squeeze that elbow back. Watch your neck, your back here, so I don't want you leaning forward. Protect. See how my head, neck, and my low back are in a straight line? So we don't want to look like this. All right, that is so bad for your back, for your posture. Good. Up, strong. Yeah. Up, yep. And stand. Kettlebell down in front of you. You're going to use that as your prop. Step back, power knee drive. Here we go. Down. Up. Day, right? Come on. 
If you're new to this or your cardio capacity or your legs are not enjoying this, first of all, they shouldn't be. But you gotta walk before you run. Pick it up, here we go, last time. So we always know the same old, same old is gonna get the same old, same old. So what that means is if you always do this, it things the same way, use the same weight, modify everything because you don't need to, because you want to, modifications are there for if your body needs them. All right, not because you want them. It's because your body needs them. Your body requires them. All right? If you always choose the easy road, you're going to get the same results. I want you to pick those modifications because it's right, not because it's easy. All right, here we go. We all want what's easy. The things that challenge us are the things that change us. Come on. the things we need. Come on. Oh. oh my God. My butt is on fire. Ooh. Oh boy. All right, recover. We're going to go into some stretches. Let's grab some water here. How's your heart rate? Should be high. Your legs should be really talking to you. I wish I could say we're done with legs, but we're not. Whew. All right. I'm gonna lighten up my load here. I'm gonna stay with one kettlebell, my 15 pounder. So now this round is gonna be a little different. We're gonna do the right side, the left side. Then you'll have a power move. And then we'll go back to the right side, the left side, and your power mode, okay? So, oh, my booties. Oh, you know, I said we'd do some stretches, didn't I? So let's do some quads first. Good, let's take this into a figure four to stretch that booty all the way back. Nice. Good job. Come up, sink to the other side really quick. So when we're still working legs, we don't want to overstretch because we don't want uh, to limit our range of motion. So we're just giving it a little quick little, ooh, I almost fell there, a quick little reprieve because our muscles are talking to us, right? Okay, so here's what we got. You're gonna take your kettlebell, you're gonna rack it on one side. Elbow in front, rack on the kettlebell. You're gonna shuffle and you're gonna squat. You're gonna do the same thing side to side. I want you to take your time to get deep into your squat 30 seconds right side, 30 seconds left side. Then you're gonna put your kettlebell down and you're gonna give me a plank walk. You're gonna give me two plank walks, two froggers. Back to your plank walk, back to your frogger. So it's two planks. So if you go left, your left leg goes left. When your hand follows over, your right leg follows over, okay? All right, 30, 30, 30, two complete rounds, 10 second count, Wrap the kettlebell up onto your right shoulder, elbow in. If it helps, hold the kettlebell here so you can get into your squat. Here comes our shuffle. Slow and easy in your squat. Now, if you don't need to hold onto it, don't. Put that arm out. It's gonna keep your body working a tiny bit harder because you have a lever off to your side. Come on. Mm. Down. Booty back. Three seconds. One more. All right, same thing. Other side. Rack it up. By keeping that kettlebell on one side, you're creating imbalance. So my opposite side has nothing. So this body has, this has to stabilize. This has to stabilize for me. Woo. Good job, guys. Our plank walks are next. Hold on to that weight if you need to. Push your butt back. Oh. 
and done. Okay, meet me on the floor, two plank walks, wrist, elbow, shoulder, state alignment, straight alignment. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Booty down, up, 14 seconds, up, 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 last one, up, 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 all right, just going to move this out a little bit, all right, pick up your kettlebell, rack it up, right side, here we go.
to kind of see what you look like in your positioning. If something doesn't feel right, it may not be. So, I can't see you, but that is why I tell you, you need to feel what you feel. If you feel something awkward, something may not be right. All right, power skate or drive. We repeat it, do it again. Up, drive, down. I want you to keep your head forward. I want you to drop your back knee. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Just like those lunge powers we did. Very similar, but now we're using a different part of our booty. That glute medius has a maximus. Woo! Come on. Oh. We have a bunch of different muscles into that glute. All right, Sam, I am. One more time each side. And we are done with those powers. All right, high pull. Sometimes I can't. 
Sometimes I just can't. You guys rock. All right. Let's go into another. Oh, I thought you'd do that. All right. Dueling timers. Pull those knees in. Take that leg back. Give it a little stretch. Do the other side really quick. All right. So now we're done with those power, power drills. Kettlebell drills. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do kind of an add-on ladder. You're going to do one of something and then one of something. And then you're going to do two of something. Stay with one of something. Three, one, four, one. All right, once we hit 10, we're done with that exercise and we're going to move on to one more. Finish with abs and we are done. All right, so you're going to need your heaviest kettlebell or dumbbell. So you're going to do what's called a swing and stop. Now, those of you who have never done a kettlebell swing, I want you to view my kettlebell tutorial. Google it on my YouTube channel. So what a kettlebell swing is, it's a hinge, all right? It's this hip hinge. You're using the backs of your legs to propel that kettlebell up, all right? You're not using your arms to lift and you're not squatting. So you're gonna give me one kettlebell swing, head net neutral, one, and stop. Then you're gonna give me two swings, one, and two, and then one stop. All right, then you're gonna do three and one stop, okay? All right, so we're gonna get started here. One kettlebell swing, one stop, two kettlebell swings, two step, one stop, all the way through. Feet are wider than hip width, arm in front, hips, with those hips back, engage your lats. Here come your first set. One and one, keep your head forward, here's two. One and two and one. Here's three. Three, two, one, four, two, three. Oh, I forgot the four. Let's do four again. One, two, three, four, and stop. Here's five. Five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Here's six. Up, six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And stop. I gotta towel off my hands a little bit. Here's seven. Come on. Up, seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And stop. Here's eight. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four and nine. So I had to towel off my hands again. I should have grabbed my gloves. Here we go. Nine, up, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Woo, last round. 10, here we go. 10, 9, 8, notice where my kettlebell is. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop and done. All right, so I should have had my gloves. My hands were super sweaty. I did have a hard time holding on to my kettlebell. All right, we're switching gears. You have one. Last round of a, a similar sequence. All right, here's what we got. You're gonna give me one squat, one squat jump. One squat, two squat jumps. Now you're gonna use your kettlebell if you choose. You can make this body weight if you want, or you can add your kettlebell for a little extra something, something. Last round to fry out that butt. All right. One squat, one squat jump, one squat, two squat jumps. Here we go. One squat, one squat jump, one squat, two squat jumps, one, two, one squat, three squat jumps, three, two, one, one squat. Here's four, four, three, two, one, one squat, five, five. Four, three, two, one, one squat, 
here's six, six, five, four, three, two, one, one squat, seven, seven, six, five, you feel your legs yet, four, three, two, one, one squat, Ooh, here's eight, eight, seven, get rid of the weight if you need to, six, five, four, three, two, one, one squat, whole one, nine, let's go, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you burn in, three, two, one, one squat, ten, we can do it, let's go, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, don't forget that squat. Deadly. Oh boy. All right, you got one set of abs. And we are gonna move on. I can't even see me, I'm out of the picture. All right, grab a medium heavy kettlebell up my dash. Just be able to sweat on the floor. Okay, you're gonna be holding the kettlebell. So you can go lighter here. It's really up to you. So you're just gonna bring the kettlebell overhead. Come on, smile. Don't cry. Let's go. All right, angle your heels together. Sides of your feet together. I want you to angle your heels to the right and only the right. You're gonna do eight right. You're gonna do eight left. All right, try not to move the arms that are in the sky. All right, and to make this easier, bend your knees. Here we go. Heel, one. Remember, the weight overhead does not move. Two, right in line with your shoulders. Diagonal, three, tap those heels. Good, here's four. Here's five. Here's six. You feel these? Seven, how's your weight overhead? Here's eight. Eight to the other side. Come on, angle. Keep the heels together. Do you find one side harder? I do. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Diagonal it out. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. Eight. Nice. Bend your knees. Drop your knees to the right. Do not move the kettlebell. Two. Three, come on. Four, five, do not move the kettlebell. Six, keep those arms straight. Seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep those arms, legs up, slightly lower down, heel. Flutters, heel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap your feet, hip, one, two, three. This is your last set, four, five. Pull those hips up, six, tuck it in. Seven, eight more, you're done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Bring those weights, bring your body up. Woo, bring those arms out. Drop your knees right, gaze the center. Drop your knees left. Might need to move your kettlebells out of the way. Again, drop it up. Oh, and one more time. Awesome, extend those legs nice and long. Give yourself a figure four. All right, so I've got my left leg crossed over my right. I want you to bring your body all the way over. Try to get that knee to the floor. The shoulder should be pointed towards the sky. You're gonna get a stretch all the way through your hip flexor. Rotate that palm up. Oh my goodness, this feels so, so good. Nice, now just extend that leg out 
and bring it out to that outstretched hand and hold it. Now look to your opposite side. Yeah. Nice work. All right, bring that leg back to center. Actually, let's hug it in real quick here. Pull it into your chest really, really tight. Just roll your shoulders up. Good. Now just let that knee flop to that side. Just stretching through that inner thigh a little bit. Awesome. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Figure four here. Pick up that knee, palms out. Drop that knee to the floor. Uh, really push it down. So you're going to feel this stretch here, here, all the way into your hip flexor. I want your gaze forward. Yeah. Awesome work. Now, outstretch that leg. Oh boy, that feels good. Woo, I can feel the tightness in my hip on this side. Way more than the other side. Awesome work. Oh, good. Bring that leg up, hug it into your chest. Really, really tight, and then pull your shoulders up to give yourself a little release here. And then just let that leg flop to the side. Just getting a little stretch for that inner thigh. And now take the other leg in as well and just really lightly put some pressure and let that just hang out here. All right, now slowly bring your body up. You're going to keep those butterfly, those feet butterfly here. Just bring your feet and take your right hand across your left front of your foot and the same thing on the other side. Just round your body forward and look down. Excellent. All right, release those hands. Bring those legs straight out. We're just going to windmill up and over to the opposite side for eight, for seven, for six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk your hands forward, tuck your chin. Beautiful. Walk your feet in, keep them wide. Walk yourself forward, elbows into those knees, push it apart. Four, three, two, side to side. I'm going to back up a little bit here because I'm sweating on my floor. Four, three, two, one. Bring those hands down, hike your hips. Oh yeah, feel that stretch back in the legs. Nice, round your body up. Let's go into some shoulder rolls for four, for three, for two, for one. Big stretch, those shoulders and back. Ha, ah, step it out, give me a ginormous inhale. This would be a great workout to foam roll afterwards. I certainly am. Give yourself a round of applause if you did it. Um, there were a couple moves that I thought I couldn't finish. In fact, one I didn't. All right, so I'm human just like you. Have a great day, guys, and we'll see you on the next workout. Take care, everybody.